Hey guys, Phoenix Regal and the gang back again with the final fractal out of all the fractal videos we brought you. Now this one is a unique one. This one will not show up, as we've mentioned on the Teach the Noob, uh, on any fractal run you do except for even numbers. It's a boss fight for even number difficulty skills for a bonus chest. Now before we head on in, there's a bonus achievement, just so you guys know, for killing every creature in this fractal. So as you can see, there's a bunch of veteran, uh, I can't pronounce that, behind us, as well as some inanimate crabs that Regal decided to shoot while we were prepping the- oh, there's one! Got one! I, uh, I was trying to get my daily uh, <laughs> ambient killer. Nice. So we're just going to get on into this. Something important to note in this fractal. Bring a melee weapon, bring a ranged weapon. The reason is, there are enemies in here that reflect every single type of projectile. And it's not... Oh, I can't wait. I gotta uh, troll you guys with it's, this one. It's not an ability. It's a permanent thing on these things. So do not run up to them. So here's a veteran thinger. Don't you do Come it. On someone. Yeah, see it. It's you. And he had ah. stability. <laughs> your stability. <laughs> Watch the edges too, try not to fall off, I've done that before. So there they are, the veteran jade shards. These guys reflect everything you throw at them, so do not use range abilities. My poor pet sage is kicking his own ass. Poor little guy. If you want to be a jerk like me, make sure you got a knockdown ability and use it, and have someone in front of you. Well, now, not often you get a knockdown that's also a projectile. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fun though. Something to keep an eye out for. Uh, if you're with a group, a lot of groups sometimes, by the end of the fractals, have already run three of these things. They don't want to run a fourth. They're just tired. All right, some groups love to magic find these creatures. They want to kill every single one of them because they do have a really good drop rate on lodestones, I've heard. Other groups just don't want to deal with it. They just want to be done. You can technically run as a group, as a pack, all the way to the end and just get right to the Jade Maw, as I believe Siaden has done. I'm almost there. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, we're killing stuff! Yeah! yeah. Oh. It's okay, it's okay So Seaden's already run six of these with us. <laughs> yeah, Seaden's run six of these with us, so just like I said, he's a little fed up, so he's totally ran way the you hell ahead. No, it's okay. This is a great opportunity for me to go get some vodka. <laughs> Did I get someone? Did so I get someone? Seaden's gonna get drunk, and we're gonna keep killing stuff. <laughs> Jeez. The guildies we have. God, Regal. They're so reliable, I mean... At the drop of a dime, they're like, yeah, I'm there for you, buddy. I'm there for you. I'll get that loot. <laughs> I, hey, I always grab loot before picking you up. You know it. I know. Yeah. Oh my okay, really time. important thing I'm going to mention here, because this happened to me a run. Regal, I'm pointing this out. I went nuts that day. Holy crap. Not a lot of people know this is here. So I was using the one-handed sword. And as you notice with the sword for the ranger, he jumps and lunges and moves all over the place. I want you to take note of this little chasm here. This little hole in the wall, <laughs> let's say. You can fall the fuck in there and not get out, okay? I'm gonna let everyone know. Be careful with lunge skills at this particular part. You can get yourself stuck. Drove me nuts. I was lucky I had portal guns, and they were still working at the time when I got stuck in there. I don't think portal guns work anymore in these dungeons. But well, the thing was, is we ran up and we were in combat, so you couldn't um, log out and come back in to be alive. I was the host. It was back when it also booted you out for that, too. I don't think it does anymore if I log out and in. It doesn't anymore, but it no. used to. It did. So I couldn't even do that. So I was just sitting there waiting for the end of the fractals, watching my buddies do all the work. <laughs> so, yeah. Watch auto, like, pulling, leaping sort of skills in this little spot here. I'm still using it, but I don't care. Um, don't get caught in that wall. I was going nuts that day, Eagle. I was just like, fuck! <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, oh. Now, I don't know if Arena Nick gave up at the final end of this boss because they tried to fix something that they considered um, an exploit and made it still possible. <laughs> um, we'll show it if they like. We'll just show it to players so they know it's there if they are having trouble. But we're not going to utilize it. We're going to go down yeah, there and fight like women. men and women. Fight men and women. Men and women. There. We'll, we'll fight like like warriors. There we go. Like people. Ooh, don't want to be sexist. Siaden is still getting drinks. He's going to have a target on his head when he gets back. This is the last group. If you notice, there's the Jade Mod. It's slimy grossness out in the middle of nowhere over there. And that's where we're going to fight him. Now, as we've been doing for all the other Fractal videos, we're going to mention his Agony Attack. He doesn't have an Agony Attack. The second you step on the platform, uh, nothing happens right off the bat. But once you start... Ah, I've been targeted. <laughs> <laughs> once you uh, kill his first tendrils... Oh, there's Hayden. He's back. You got a drink, buddy? Yeah. I always know when you come back, because my mic echoes for the first few seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Alright, so there's two tendrils he's going to pop out of the ground. They don't do anything right off the bat. Once you kill those, he's going to blast the entire platform with agony. There's no way to get around it. And if you're one of those players that thinks, I'll just sort of stay back, you know, so I don't get the agony because I have no AR and I'm just sort of hide it on my team. And you can stay back here when he bursts it and then jump on the platform. The second you enter the platform, agony is automatically applied to you. So everyone has to survive a round of agony to fight this boss. Otherwise, your teammates are left trying to pick you up during this fight, which is not... Uh, well, it, it can be an easy fight if you have a good group. Now, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. We're not going to utilize this. Some teams do. It makes it easier for those teams that are just struggling. You can actually jump around the rocks here on the side. It's a little bit of a jumping puzzle. It's not really uh, that hard to do. I mean, you just jump up the side, and you can fire at the two tendrils from up here from a safe distance. We're actually going to go down there and fight it like total bosses. I feel like a boss already. Ah, uh, we're going to get our asses kicked where you can... All right, let's kick some tendril ass. Shh, they don't need to know that. It's a surprise. Now, these tendrils have a lot of knockback abilities, as well as they do a lot of damage. You want to try and keep your distance and range them. As well as the Irukajani thingies. Irukanji. Irukanji. They're annoying and they hurt. Ow! I'm gonna... Oh, you, you teleported. <laughs> and you died too. <laughs> Help us! <laughs> We're coming! Oh, there's a lot of uh, Irukanji down here. something. Spin to win. Oh. They're all slowed. Every one of them. <laughs> Alright, one of the tendrils almost down. Oh! Yeah, good job. Oh, I'm down. Did Aff. we mention that they despawn after we take out the tentacles? Nope, we didn't. Probably should, uh, someone save me. Someone save me! Oh. Somebody's not saving you? I nope. was Much really confused. busy. Nope, I'm dead. That's okay, that's okay. Wait, kill well, the, kill the tendril. Last that's okay. Tendril? It happens. No. Now this can be tricky, this is why people run around that back ledge, guys, that's why I did show you, it does happen. These Yuru Kanji, or whatever the hell they're called. Incoming Agony! And here you go. Now, as you notice, when the Tendril goes down, he's going to make all the Yuru Kanji go away. He's going to summon four more Tendrils and hit the entire platform with Agony. There's the Agony condition on all of us. Uh, now, Sien's going to start picking people up. Get up, Omega! <laughs> I didn't realize there were two of you dead, jeez. Yeah, we went out as a pair. Now for this part, what <laughs> you're going to notice is the boss is going to start launching down veteran Jade Colossus. These guys are assholes, they reflect all the projectiles just like the other ones, but there's also this new new thing we're going to point out here, reflecting crystals. Reflecting crystals are utilized for his one-hit kill. The boss is going to target particular individuals in our party with a skull icon above their head. When you're downed or dead, you actually can't see the icon, so I won't be able to point it out. Siaden just had uh, it on his head, and I couldn't see it. Crap. Who's going to save Siaden? No, I got, I, got, I got tailed hit. Oh, there right it is. The actually, tentacle. actually, it did, it did, it did. It showed, it showed. Where? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? The close okay, one. Okay. <laughs> the close. I wasn't facing that one. <laughs> no, I killed it. Oh my God. This is awesome, guys. I love my front row seats to this. I'm just going <laughs> to kick back and relax. So this boss yeah, battle, what happens is when you get the oh skull God, icon, me. there it is. I, I actually lied. Apparently that was patched. It didn't use to show. If you notice, there was a green beam there of energy that went in and targeted C. Aiden. That beam insta-kill, or sorry, insta-downs anyone it hits, unless they're holding a reflecting crystal. If they're holding a reflecting crystal in their hands, it'll charge the reflecting crystal with a charge that they then throw at the Jade Maw, which is the only way to damage it. So to kill the Maw, you have to charge crystals and whip them at them. So that's pretty much the mechanics for this fight. He does keep resummoning tendrils. Every time a tendril spawns or gets killed, it summons another crystal for you to utilize in the fight, as well as Jade... Uh, soldiers here each one you kill will give you more crystals as well so they're very important to take down once again do not use ranged abilities you will shoot yourself in the face ubi's picking me up he's such a nice guy <laughs> it's actually good that you're dead because your pet if it's an aggroed or out he can also take that skull see it in reflected crystal so as you see see it ah! didn't get it in time okay so as you can't see <laughs> Import was in the rally way. off the box. <laughs> <laughs> My corpse is in the best spot. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Ubi, would you mind cycling for us? Now, Ubi's going to handle cycling. What that is is where you grab crystals and drop them again. It's very important to do. I'm going to do one really quickly. It keeps the crystals from respawning. Actually, I'm going to keep this crystal because I'm targeted. We're going to We're going to aim at the boss and fire this crystal off. Now it's charged. Poof. There we go. Now. Crystals do despawn, okay? After a limited amount of time, you have a limit. Eh, you have a limited amount of time with them. So you want to make sure you keep recharging them. As long as you keep picking them up and dropping them, they'll stick around for longer. It's a very useful mechanic. Most people will pick them up and drop them off back here at the back of your little base of operations, we'll call it. Because it's the one spot where tendrils won't spawn and kick your ass. Nice little safe spot to be. 
Same, you got that crystal? Another important thing, target the boss. Call a target on it for your teammate, so that whenever you get... Yeah, the... the mm, <laughs> Omega's bringing up the fact that the jade things knock you down. Yeah, that is annoying. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, call a target on your team. Regal, you were saying something too. We cut off like everyone at every given moment there. <laughs> oh, not, not a problem at all. <laughs> pets, pets and ads, that's what this you're saying. This is actually the gatekeeper, man. This, this, this is the gatekeeper of agony resistance. If you don't have the appropriate mount for it to survive it, you're not going to be able to push further into the fractals. Yes. Now, as uh, Regal was saying earlier, I sort of cut him off. Sorry about that, dude. Uh, was the fact that your pets, your pets, your ads, your mesmer clones, they can all be targeted by the maw. Oh, that too. Yeah, I totally forgot about yeah. that. <laughs> I'll remember for you, don't worry. So it's definitely, definitely important to keep your pets out of the way if you can. Rangers don't have that option. Mesmers don't really have that option. Ubi doesn't have that option because he's dead as hell. Oh, I just got <laughs> dead as shit. I got hit by every bloody tentacle. Apparently, it's all just in range. <laughs> Broken heart. Important note when you're resing. You'll notice that I've done it. I picked up a crystal before resing. It's important to keep one in your hand. This way, if you're targeted like I was, you don't get killed. See, Aiden? Oh, you have a crystal. Grab this crystal over here. Good thing. Uh. So it's definitely good to work as a group to keep the crystal count high over by your feet. Uh, Seaden usually cloaks and runs out there and will grab a whole bunch of the ones that just spawned, because we probably should have mentioned, once you kill all the Jade Maws, which or the Jade... Um, what are they called? The Jade Elementals or whatever? What was their exact term? Colossus. Colossus. That's Jade it. Colossus. Thank you. Jade Colossus. Once you kill the Jade Colossus, this guy goes into Phase 2. Phase 2 is all tentacles. You notice they're all here. They'll all be killed by us, and they'll all be respawning very shortly. They don't stay dead. They keep coming up and down. So this is also a good thing, because otherwise you'd run out of crystals. Exactly. Oh, it's me. I need there crystals. was also another I'll round of agony there, so if you didn't get... If you didn't notice, Ubi got his butt kicked by that agony again. Agony yes. is a percentage-based damage. Probably should have mentioned that in our very first video. <laughs> no, 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 we mentioned it in the Teach a Noob. We weren't there. Oh, that's okay. correct. You got yeah. Teach a Noob. Yeah, it's in the Teach a Noob, so anyone who needs to know more about these fractals, do the Teach a Noob real quick. Oh, there we go. Oh, there, there's a tentacle. Just It spawned right in the camera. It was like, I'm here! Have you mentioned the fact that you can dodge the I-beam if you yes, really have yes. to? Yes, yes. As I was dead, I saw you dodge one. It was awesome. It's awesome. incredibly hard to do, actually, especially if you're lagging even a little bit. Yes. So you can dodge the I-beam, if necessary. Now, Jade Mod Ma's health is in the top right. It is blocked by our logo, but there was a progression bar there for the Jade Colossus. Once you kill him all, he goes to phase two, and you get hit with another round of agony. So, like I said, there is no way to dodge the agony in this one. You're going to get hit with it. You don't have agony resist. You're just going to be a burden to your team at this point. You shouldn't be dead. Kind of like me and Ubi were a burden at the team right off the bat because <laughs> we were dead as shit. Of course, the less people that are alive, the more often you're going to be targeted by that crystal stuff. If you have a nice supply stash of crystals because of the first. Oh, shit, Zane, sorry, sorry, sorry. If you have a nice uh, supply cache of these crystals, because at the beginning no one died and everyone was perfectly cycling all the crystals, and you have a nice stockpile at your feet, and a couple people die, you can just sit on that pile and keep cycling them, keep picking them up and dropping them to keep them in play, and this way you won't have to worry about killing any additional tendrils. Musical chairs! Got it. Doom. Now, when he's only got one <laughs> hit left, all the tendrils are going to despawn and all the crystals are going to be there. And this is musical chairs, as he hadn't called it. Because if you don't grab a crystal, you get fucked by that beam. Now, we all got lucky, we all got a crystal, but a lot of people aren't lucky. Ooh, a charged core and charged crystal. I got three cores and a lodestone. Now, it's time to show you the piece de la resistance, or whatever the hell you want to call it for this thing. Beating the Jade Maw gives you a bonus chest, a completion chest. And in this chest is where you can get the rare skins, like the fractal skins, as well as rare rings, the ascended rings that you utilize, as we showed it in Teach the Noob, for your agony resistance. So you get a bonus chest for fractal relics, as well as a chance at one of these skins. Let's see what we get. Let's see what I get, guys. As explained, I got nothing. Be above level 26 for a chance at one of those skins. Yes, yes. I will, uh, all gone over the Teach Noob, guys. Definitely check it out if you want a little more. Uh, Seaden got Jack. I didn't get anything. Usually there's a ring or a skin there if you're lucky enough. But you do get the tokens. Now, see, there we go. So, Omega did get one. He got a Crystalline Band. So, as you can see there, he did get a ring out of the chest. So, if you don't have enough tokens to get one and you're just lucky, you can get one out of these. Oh, that's so. the one he needed, too. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely <laughs> done. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe as well as check us out on Facebook and Twitter and leave comments below on other things you'd like to see. The reason we did these whole fractal set sort of thing is because people asked us for them. So if there's something in the game we haven't covered yet that you'd like to see, let us know. We'll cover it. Thanks for watching. Check back later.